Hey folks, this is Nod. I'm back playing Space Engineers. And today we're going to do a little mining, I think. I've got lots of resources, but you know what? Um, I haven't really done much asteroid-to-asteroid -asteroid mining, so I thought I would give that a try. And yeah, I know I said I would like to set up some defenses first, but um, I'm kind of not in the mood right now, so I'm going to go mining. I'm feeling lazy. So we're just going to do that. Alright, let's go get the mining ship. I think he's up here. Humble miner, where are you at? There she be. Alright, bubble miner, we're going out. Let's get some law. Thrust is on, lights on. Detach gear. And away we go. Oh, I love this little ship. It's just so much fun. I've done a lot of mining with this particular model. It's not exactly this one. I've broken a few, but uh, yeah, this is a good one. Um, yeah, I haven't. Uh, I don't. At the time I'm making this, I don't have it on the uh, workshop. I may put it up there at some point, but uh, if I do, I'll put it in the comments of the video, link to it. Uh, otherwise, I would assume I don't have a it up on the workshop. We shall see, though. All right, where am I going here? Find me a one in particular I wanted to go check out. Asteroid. It's not this one. Where the heck am I going? Lost on my own asteroid. Ah, okay, here's my base. So it's this one right out in front is what I wanted to go check out. And what is that there? That's a uh, military escort. Getting kind of close. Oh, he's disappeared. Oh, that's so weird. Why do they keep disappointing? Alright, anyway, we're going over here. So, full thrust. Away we go. So, as a rule, when I'm going to an asteroid, or anything for that matter, I'm flying towards it, I don't aim right at it. You see, I could, I could, I could aim right at it, that's a bad idea. Slightly off to the side, that way I figure if I overshoot, which I generally do, um, you know, I'm not going to go careening into it. I also don't turn off the inertial dampeners until I'm up to 100, uh, 100 meters per second. Because I found it, I kinda, it can drift a little bit uh, if you do that. So you keep the inertial dampeners on, keeps it going straight. Um, then once you hit 100 meters per second, you let go of the mouse and you can just uh, coast, which is cool. So how are we doing here? Bye bye asteroid, I'll see you soon. Yeah, there's not much to this design. It's uh, just basically just a bunch of batteries and uh, there's no cargo hold on this thing. It's just all drills. Each drill has got like 33,000 uh, kilograms of space in it, so it's quite a bit of storage there. There's also 10k of storage in the cockpit, although that's a little buggy. It doesn't always uh, count the stuff. Got an oxygen generator on this, and gyros. I got extra gyros on this for when I'm on a moon. I can turn those on and off if I really need some extra. Because when this thing gets full, it gets a little sluggish. It's nice to have the extra gyros. Um, it's all um, ion drive, so uh, it's pretty much space only. Um, it will work on a moon up to about 0.25 Gs, I think. Uh, with a full load, it's a... Uh, yeah, you can get stuck to the ground sometimes, I noticed. It's like, it'll, it'll fly, but if you touch the ground, it'll, like, stick to it. Uh, you have to wiggle and get off it. Oh, here we come. Coming up on the asteroid here. So I have my biggest thruster on the front of this. And uh, that's always been a thing with me. I like the biggest thruster so I can slow down. There's no point in going really fast if you can slow down. So initial depth is on. Big thruster firing. Stop. Brakes. Oh, yeah. That's looking pretty good. But you see, if I just uh, aimed right at this, I would be like... Um, I'd be in a world of hurt right now. I might have crashed right into that, so... That's why you don't aim at stuff you're flying towards. Alright, so I believe I have an ore detector on this. It should be turned on. Um, yeah, one reason to bring the uh, the big the big ship is it's got the uh, the large ore detector, which can 
you know, basically scan an entire asteroid all at once, but this little one's good to have about 50 meters, so you gotta little scatter around a little bit. Try to see what we got here. Pretty guess, pretty sure we got iron. Yes, we got iron. What do we got here? Looks like cobalt. Maybe is that cobalt? Cobalt. Yes. Ooh, uranium. Burners. Okay, what else we got here? Oh yeah, we got ice too. So uranium, ice, iron, and cobalt. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Uh, looks like it's gonna be it for this one. All right, make a bookmark, and uh, we'll start mining here. Or iron, uranium, ice, cobalt. Okay. <clears throat> All righty, so I think I want some ice. And I want to get some uranium. Those two are kind of essential. Everything else I can probably do without for a little bit, but uh, well, this is good. It's like ice and the uranium right next to each other. Mine both at once, bonus. So let's show you this guy in action here. So, <clears throat> uh, you know what? I'm going to turn down the volume on this a little bit so you're going to hear me. Uh, where did that escape? Options, game. No, not game. Audio, there we go. Sound audio. Shouldn't be quite as deafening. Let's see here. That's too long. Okay. Alright, let's go do some mining. So you see my uh, LED? display there, display panel, and I'm actually showing me what I'm mining, which is awesome. So, uh, what is the mod name? Here, I'll put it up there on the screen, you should be able to see it right now. That mod is freaking awesome. Uh, fighter Cockpit um, LCD, something or other, I think what it's called. And I've also got the LCD, uh, well, I'll put that up on the screen too. Um, so it basically tells you what you're mining and other things. You can totally program it, it's awesome. Now there is a weird quirk with this. Um, the cockpit? See, the cockpit is filling up, and it's got it's got 10,000 10, liters it can hold. Um, it won't actually show up. This, this mods and everything won't actually read anything that's in the cockpit. So until I fill the cockpit up, and it bleeds out into my drills and other things, it doesn't actually show up on my uh, screen. So the first 10k, I have no like. I got no telemetry on that, so I don't know what's going on, so it's a bit annoying, but uh, once we get over 10k, then it starts working a little bit more reliably. Should we get in there, shoot? Nice, and uranium. Oh, that's nice. It's right outside my doorstep, too. That's... I'm going to be back here again, I'm guessing. Drills are pulling in ice, the other one's pulling in uranium. Okay, see now we should have now we filled up the uh, cockpit, so now it's actually bleeding over to the, uh, the drills and the other storage. So my things work. You see, like the the uh, cargo mass percentage is starting to fill up now. Once that gets to 100 percent, I'm supposed to stop because it, uh, this thing gets mighty unmanageable. Once it's uh, once she's full, uh, at zero G, it's not a big deal. I guess if I go a little over, but on the moon and stuff, you might find yourself stuck. So I get into a little iron here too. I don't know if I need iron yet. I don't think I do. In fact, I don't think I need anything. But uh, just kind of wanted to check it out. Let's see how everything goes here. So we'll fill this puppy up. Sort of moving along. It's take a little while. So I don't know if it's uh, something new or um, 
It seems in the last month or so, certain materials are harder than uh, others to mine. I remember when I first started mining stuff, it was like butter. I mean, you would just, just be able to grind through it like several meters per second, and you know, it would just... Not anymore, though. I mean, this is hard ice, and... Uh, well, actually, ice and uh, uranium are... I would call those sort of medium softness. But stuff like uh, platinum and uh, what is it, cobalt maybe? I don't know. Some of the other ones are really, really hard. They're like, they're like diamond. It's like, so even this is like taking a while to go through. The iron seems pretty soft. You can mine that pretty fast. But let's get into the iron a little bit here. Get up any iron. Yep, there goes the iron. Let's start to get some of that. They want that though. So I think I mostly want uranium here, so let's go over and get 100% uranium here. Gotta power that nanite control factory of mine. That thing is just a beast when it comes to power. Well, I'll probably cut ahead until uh, this is full. You don't need to see me mining for hours on end. Alright, coming up on 85%. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, actually, I wanted to show you one other thing about this uh, miner. is It does have a, a stone removal um, mode. Uh, I'm going to find some stone, of course. Alright, here's like a mix of iron and stone over here. Zip over here. Where are we? It's got an ejection system. Uh, let's see a couple of little ejector ports. One for each drill. Although they don't always all work. I don't quite understand what's up with them, but... Uh, so let's uh, zip on in there. Let's see if we can pick up iron and stone, but uh, should keep the iron and throw out the uh, stone. Yeah, there we go. Camera's rigging out. God, they really need to fix the cameras on this. That's pretty cool. So it doesn't. Uh, I'm not getting anything on this side. There we are. Oh, okay, that, one, that one's working. So, um, yeah, it doesn't. Uh, I don't think it ejects it quite as fast as I could mine, but it's close. Six k, six point four k, seven. Yeah, I see. It's, the stone's going up alarmingly fast, but uh, if I just back up and stop mining for a second, that'll go down pretty quick. I'm scratching the paint. <laughs> Bonk. Bonk. Is that rocks getting in the way of the camera? Yeah, I guess. Which stone we got left here? Yeah, it's, it's almost done with the stone. We're done. All right, I'm gonna grab a mark. Oh boy! Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> a little tight in here. All right, where's that cobalt? There it is. Yeah, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Not a very good camera angle. Here we go. Close. See, I have a spotlight behind the uh, lights. Uh, the, um, the drills is kind of good too, because when the, uh, when the shadow meets the drill, you pretty much know you're about to collide with the rock, which is kind of nice. So the cobalt's pretty hard. So it takes a while to mine cobalt. Or it's one of them soft ones. I'm not sure. Eh, it's kind of medium hard, I'd say. 
I've noticed too that um, some rocks, like uh, there'll be soft spots and uh, hard spots within the same type of rock. I might be imagining things, but it certainly seems that way. I'll be mining along really slowly, and all of a sudden it'll just start like munching the rock like crazy. So I, I don't know. As I said, I might be just imagining that, but and it also doesn't seem to be uh, make any difference if you like thrusting into the rock constantly. I think all you have to do is be is, uh, is deforming the voxel. So. I like to just tap it once in a while, you know, I'll let it take it like two or three ticks and then I'll give it a little tap, move forwards, give it two or three ta ticks, move forwards a little bit. You don't have to keep the thrusters on constantly, you're just ramming your ship into the, into the rock, I don't think that's necessary. As long as the voxel's deforming, it seems like you, you, you will be mining. There we go, 100%, 100.2. Good enough. Alright, let's head home. So I've got a sorting uh, mod, which I'll put on the screen now, because once again I forget the name of it. Um, a, uh, an inventory sorting mod. It uh, helps move stuff around, put it in different containers. The sorter blocks kind of... they're good and all, but uh, they're also... I, I dislike the one-way thing about them. I wish there was a way to like reverse the one-way thing or turn that off or on, it's just, it's, uh, that kind of bothers me, because, you know, if I, it's great for sucking stuff out of the ship, but, uh, if I want to, like, load something back into my ship, how do I do that with a one-way valve? So I don't use those one-way valves, I've got a sorting one now, so, as soon as I actually dock up here, you should see my, uh, it should suck all of the, uh, resources right out of my hull. Let's see what happens here. Okay, we're docked. Oh shoot, it's, uh, okay, yeah, my sorters are pulling the uh, stone out of my base, which is not ideal. <laughs> Decouple. Probably should have disabled those first. Yeah, because those are, see again, those damn sorters are just a nightmare. Alright, anyway, we've got, um, I believe that's a... Uh, it's a word I'm looking for. Alright, so that that's um, unloaded. Let's go park this. Let's just be cool.